What's going on everyone? Justin here with Trading Cards and More back with another box opening video. Hopefully everyone's having a good weekend. Today we're going to be opening some more of the Panini Chronicles basketball blaster boxes. I have three of these boxes. <clears throat> really good deal on these. I was lucky enough to find them. Uh, you get the pink exclusives out of here, I do believe. There's five cards per pack, eight packs per box, so you're getting uh, 40 cards. It says look for airborne signature reds. I've only pulled one signature out of all the boxes I've opened, so I'm not really uh, expecting to get any of those. But yeah, also we have the rookies and stars insert cards, which are pretty tough. Um, those are exclusive to these blaster boxes. Uh, but yeah, pink parallels, <clears throat> really nice cards. I really enjoy this set. Um, Sly one is in here. AB cards is in here. What's up? guys been waiting to open these just because i was waiting on more sleeves to show up it showed up the other day so we have plenty of those because there's a lot of good cards in here so i'd say about 80 80 percent of the cards you pull out of here are uh, rookie cards i think last time we averaged about one zion and one john morant per um per box on these so we should get about three of each if we hit the odds and then you also have, I really like the, um, uh, what do you call them? <clears throat> Those flux cards are really nice. So we got a pink Darius Garland right off the get, uh, right off the bat. These are the cards I don't really care for, the Chronicles, just base cards. But a really nice prestige there. And we got a Nico Melli, Rookies and Stars. These are exclusive to these boxes. We got a PJ Washington Panini. And we have a Jackson Hayes Marquee. Not a great pack, but, um, you know, anytime you get one of those rookies and stars, and they're pretty high numbered, 679 on that one. I've pulled the, uh, the Zion. I haven't pulled the John Morant. AB Cards found Chronicles Football. Very nice. I don't do football, so I have no idea. Hit it, Gavin Lux. Very cool. Pack number two, we got a Tyler Harrell, and we got a Flux card. I freaking love these Flux cards, man. All right, we got a Tyler Harrell. We got a Kemba Walker. Ooh, it's got, like, green at the top. Maybe it's a John Morant, hopefully. Hey, Eric Pashal, nice. I'm pretty much grading all these because they're all good cards. I mean, I pulled two LeBrons. I pulled some good rookies. Um... Haven't pulled the Zion or John Morant yet, but yeah, Eric Pashal. Really, I just really like this card. These flux cards are awesome. I think they're a little undervalued because they are really, really tough to hit. Next, we got Cody Martin and our. Did we not hit a pink? We got a PJ Washington recon card. So I don't think we got a pink variant out of that pack. Very strangely. Sometimes you, I guess you don't get them. But I'm thinking that Flux cards are best hit so far. We got more Chrome Baseball. We'll probably open tomorrow. And then we got more um, 2020 Series 2. We also have um, a couple of Mega Boxes we'll get of this product. We got an RJ Barrett Pink. Very nice. That's a Panini. Panini Base. I like that one. Not bad. RJ Barrett, of course, the third draft pick. Played at Duke with Zion. <clears throat> Next, we got a Jackson Hayes. Very nice. I think he's a player to buy right now. He's pretty cheap. Plays for the Pelicans. Hasn't really... None of his cards have spiked or anything that I know of. So, really nice. Rookies and Stars. Tough, tough card. Exclusive to this box. Brandon Clark. And we got a Goga Essential. So, not a horrible pack there. Uh, the Flux do have a silver version, yes. I, I don't think you can get them out of here. I think it's only in hobby boxes you can get all the numbered cards and everything. But we, do get, we did get a, a silver Hometown Heroes out of one pack. And um, I was surprised about that. We got PJ Washington, Panini. Or prestige, my bad. 
Uh, and then we got Joel Embiid, Jason Tatum, the Chronicles one's not really. And ooh, we got a pink variant. It's a XR, I believe. And it's a it's a recon. It's a DeAndre Hunter. Nice. DeAndre Hunter pink recon. I like that one. Really like these uh these recon cards. Anytime you can get a variant. It's definitely definitely a nice card. Looks pretty solid. Alright, only halfway in here. <clears throat> Silver Prism Kendrick Nunn out of the blaster box. Wow, that's crazy. Good hit. And we got a John Morant, our first John Morant. It is left to right. It seems like these are always left to right, these threads cards. See that left border is a lot skinnier, but still a John Morant. Kevin Love. And then we got a Romeo Langford. I think his stuff's pretty cheap as well. Um, so right there, Romeo Langford, Rookies and Stars. That's a nice one. Looks like we got our first Luminance card. And it's a LeBron James. Let's go. I have not pulled a LeBron James Luminance card yet, so that is my first one. That is nice. Check that out, guys. Luminance LeBron James. Sweet looking card. I love these um, Luminance cards. These and then the Flux for sure. Um, Jarrett Culver, Marquis, and the other cards we've already seen. But yeah, John Morant, that was a nice pull. Probably you know easy twenty bucks right there. Not sure on that LeBron, but I can almost guarantee you that's worth a nice amount. So so far so good on this box. We hit one good LeBron, one John Morant. We still haven't hit a Zion, but we got uh, three three packs left here. Flux has autographs. Yeah, probably not gonna get one out of one of these uh, retail products, but. You never know. I, I don't really know. Ooh, we got a nice hit in here. We got Devontae Graham. We got Sekou Threads. I like these ones as well. And it is a Carson Edwards Crusade. Yeah, I like the Crusade cards. You can get the color variants of those. We got a Bobo Pink out of one of these boxes. Brandon Clark. And a Zion Williamson. Let's go. I just sold my John Moran to this card. I threw it up on eBay and uh, I got 57 bucks for it um, just because the, the, one of the corners was kind of pushed in and on the back you could see it uh, and this thing is looking pristine pristine gem mint on this Zion I'm not sure on the Zion essentials price but I'm, I'm assuming it's worth more than the John Morant which was like I said almost 60 bucks I'm, I'm assuming that's like an $80 card I don't know but that, I think that's the first uh, Zion Essentials card I've pulled, so that is awesome. So we got one Zion, one Jaw. That's our odds, uh, like I said at the beginning of this opening. That is pretty much our odds, so super stoked on that. Zach Levine. Levine. We got a, a Cameron Johnson. Some people have been saying, I heard some people say, get his cards. Um, he's on the Suns. I believe they were undefeated um, in the... Uh, in the the uh, the bubble games they played um, really good. I mean, Devin Booker was going off. He had that game winner. It was awesome. Cameron Johnson, the rookie. It's a pink parallel, so that makes it even better. And we got a Rookies and Stars, R.J. Barrett. Man, we are hitting a lot of these uh, Rookies and Stars cards. We've already got the R.J. Barrett. Uh, we got the, what, the Carson Edwards and the Jackson Hayes as my cards all fall over. Uh, but really nice. Rookies and Stars. I can never seem to find these when I go on eBay and try to find the price on them. I can never figure it out, but very nice. Darius Garland. And our last card is a Eric Pichal Marquis. I'm going to sleeve this Cam Johnson up. That's cool. I mean, it's got the pink parallel. That's why I love these parallels, because you never know what card in the pack is going to be parallel, and then it could be like a good, good card, and it just increases the value. How about them Cubs? Yeah, the Cubs are doing pretty good. They lost last night by one point, but they still did pretty good. Their, their record's pretty pretty solid this year. Um, Pashal Prestige, Chronicles card, and a LeBron Threads. Let's go. A LeBron Threads. A little left to right on that one, but 
And our next card is a John ja Morant, our second John ja Morant. No way, man. And we got a pink behind it, and it is a DeAndre Hunter. Oh my gosh, we got a Recon John ja Morant. That one's looking pretty good. Why don't you guys just take a look at it as well. I like this one because it's white on the back. It does have the, the foil on the front. I don't see any factory lines or anything weird going on. So it's looking pretty solid. That's two Jaws and one Zion in a $20 box. <laughs> That's why I say, you know, people are saying, oh, are these boxes worth, you know, paying 50 bucks or whatever? I think they're going for about 150 uh, online. Last time I checked, I don't know if that's still the price, but with uh, two John Rants and that Zion, I guarantee we got $150 in value. So, and then, you know, two, two LeBrons, we got the Rookie and Stars, RJ. Just a lot of really good cards in there. It's just crazy. DeAndre Hunter Pink. I think I forgot to separate the yeah Chronicles cards out of here. Let's get those to the side. And pretty much everything else is a rookie card in here. That's the reason I like these cards, they're almost all rookie cards. I mean, out of all these cards that were the non Chronicles cards, rookie, 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 rookie. You can see they're just. I'll probably just leave that one because it's a nice card. Uh, Jarrett Culver, Darius Garland. Yeah, you can see every single card's a rookie card. You just you don't get a lot of star cards in here, which is nice. I mean, if you do, you get you know Zion, uh, Trey Young, Jason Tatum, Anthony Davis. Just a lot of good names in here. So that was pretty darn good for our first box. Um, let's take another little gander here. J LeBron, not a big card, but John Morant, that was sick. R.J. Barrett, Zion, that's probably the best card in here. Another John Morant, LeBron Luminance. Andre Pink, Jackson Hayes, RJ Barrett Pink. Just an awesome box. Let's go ahead and get into box number two. Triple J, what's going on? Uh, they're like $65 a blaster box. Wow, that's surprising they're down that low. Uh, thanks for letting me know, Lee Aaron. Uh, $450 on the, on the Zion. I just sold the John Morant for um, $57. That's surprising that it's only $40, $50. Bucks. I think what happened is uh, the Pelicans didn't do so hot and going to be in the playoffs so i think a lot of people are like getting rid of their zions right now just you know naturally the price kind of went down but um i got a psa submission coming back here hopefully within the next month or they just started grading it finally and i've got i think 20 something zions in there and i got like 70 john morants so i'm pretty stoked on that uh, guaranteed players yeah the quality the guaranteed players all that stuff yeah for sure I, I like the product personally. I've, I've heard people say, this is all the Panini products that aren't worth putting out on the market on their own, so they put them all in one product. I don't, I don't look at it that way. Ooh, oh, we got a Jarrett Culver. A pink Jarrett Culver. Another player that, you know, his prices haven't really gone. Oh, this pack is really mushed in. That sucks. Right out of the pack, too. I'm, I'm sure I could probably send that to Panini and get a replacement, but... I sent cards in, like, what, March, and they still haven't gotten back yet. Here's a, a Rui. That would have been a nice card to grade. Smashed up in the corner. <laughs> that sucks. I might, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'll send those off. It just takes so darn long. And this one didn't get too damaged on the back there. Uh, the Gogo got pushed in as well. 2018 Blasters are 200 to 250. 220 to 250. That's crazy. So hopefully all these packs aren't damaged, because that'll be kind of a bummer. <laughs> Uh, but that one pack was... Ooh, this one's pushed in. Doggone it, man. How do you get a box that's all completely damaged? And we got a... Th oh, my God. Kawhi Leonard. <laughs> I don't even want to know, guys. Look at that. It's completely shoved in. Right there, just completely shoved. I might have to send these off to, to Panini. Because that's, that's crazy. I mean, between that card and... You know, we got the Rookies and Stars... The Rui, the the Jarrett Culver, pushed in corners. I don't know what this Kawhi is worth, but I've never hit, I've never hit this card. It does have a factory line right there too, but completely shoved in. And there's a Naz Reed, completely shoved in. I might just end up sending a lot of these. I don't know. That really sucks. That really sucks. Jarrett Culver, he's shoved in, and Brandon Clark. 
That one doesn't look bad, so that's a good one. <clears throat> so I'm guessing all these packs are probably going to be like that, since they're all in the same box, but I'm crossing my fingers on this one. Oh, this pack isn't bad. We got Jordan McLaughlin. I don't think I've seen any of his cards in the previous packs and stuff. Yeah, that one's not looking too bad. It is a pink variant. And we got Carson Edwards. Carson Edwards again. We got a Giannis. Very nice. And Donovan Mitchell. Let's take a look at this one. Really nice Giannis Essentials card. Set that over there. So hopefully the rest of these packs aren't going to be damaged because that one wasn't really bad at all. Maybe it was just the first few packs on top, but uh, I'll have to look these cards up. But, I mean, that's a that's a Prism card. Those are super, super tough to pull out of here. That's only the second one we pulled out of all these boxes. That Jared Culver is a pink variant. That Rui is a hard pull, so I might just send them to uh, Panini to get replacements for them. It's just kind of a pain to do the whole process, and they take forever to get your cards back. But we got James Harden. We got De'Aaron Fox. So that's our first non-rookie that wasn't a Chronicles card. A Seku. That's a cool one. I like that one. I just like the colors on it and everything. It all blends in. Seku. Very nice. Kendrick Nunn. And we got a pink Eric Bashal. Very nice. Other than a few damage cards in here, this box is not... Even with that, this box isn't really that hot, but... Maybe in the last four packs here. Donner's paper is 110. Plaster and this stuff is 65. Huh, what? Opened a lot of all the pens and Donner's. Wow. Yeah, the, the designs are always off center in that Donner's. I, I had a whole stack of them. I think I sold them off and they're like 20 bucks a card or whatever. We got a Jaron Jackson pink variant there. We got a Cam Reddish rookies and stars. There's a nice one. And we got a Luminance card. A Luminance card of Cam Reddish. So we got back-to-back -back Cam Reddishes in here. Very nice. And a Kobe White marquee. So three cards that weren't too bad. This might be a little pushed in that corner. I think it is. Collect Kobe cards? Yeah, I had a few Kobe cards. I, I think I might have a few, but I got some at PSA. So... If you're talking Kobe Bryant, uh, yeah, I think you are. Um, that one's looking pretty good. Eh, maybe not. These cards are tough, man. Especially with uh, with this box having some damaged packs in here. Some of them don't look too bad, but really sucks about those cards that really got pushed in. All right, let's see what we got. Three more packs out of this box, and then we have box number three. We got another Cam Reddish. Man, we're killing it on the Cam Reddish. Then we got a Julius Randle. Ooh, I think we got an Optic, guys. I haven't hit an Optic yet at all in these, uh, in these boxes. Like, they're tough, tough. Just like those prisms. And it's an Andre Iguodala. So not a huge name. But my first Optic card. It says traded on the back. I, I have no idea what that's going to be worth. I mean, he's not that big of a name. So I don't know, but that's still cool because it, these are tough, tough pulls. We got a Terrence Davis rookie, and we got Darius Garland. So not too shabby. I'll have to look. I'll have to look these cards up because I have no idea, honestly, what the values are going to be on these. But I like that Terrence Davis Raptors. All right. Let's see what is in the next couple packs. Dr. Kelly, what's going on? If you guys don't mind leaving a like button if you're just joining. We got another Tyler Hero pris uh, Prestige. Kendrick Nunn Pink. Let's go. That's a nice one. Kendrick Nunn Pink. Uh, rookie card. It's a shame that it's off center. But other than that, that's a pretty sweet card. I'll have to see what that one's going on because it's not only is it his Donruss rookie which he didn't have a rookie in Donruss but it's got the pink variant and we got a Keldon Johnson rookies and stars 
think people are buying him up. I looked at his prism rookies and was like, man, they're going for a pretty good amount of money. So, really nice rookies and stars. Do, do, do. We got Eric Pascal. Pascal, whatever he's. And a Tyler Hero. Nice. It's got a little bit on the corner. Hard to tell. I'll look it over. I don't know what you're talking about, Jeremiah. If I was to buy it. Huh. Buy hangers. I don't know what you mean by how much for resale. You mean how much would I pay for these like on the open market? I don't know. I bought all these at the store, so. All right, we got Darius Garland, Joel Embiid, Eric Bashaw, and a pink of Brandon Clark. Not too bad on that one. I pulled the, the pink John Moran like this already. Um, not too bad. Brandon Clark, of course, plays with John Morant. Not a bad card. My eBay name is the same as my YouTube. All right, last box here. Yeah, Brandon, I, Brandon Clark's definitely going up. I think I got, I got some of his, um... Luminous cards are going to be going to grading. Last box here. Hopefully, uh, no damage cards on this one. Knock on wood. We didn't do as good on that box. I don't think... Did we even hit a single John Morant out of that box? Yeah, that box didn't have a single John Morant. Or a single... Um, Zion as well. So that was, that was not a good box. And then we had the damage cards as well. So... <clears throat> Might have to send those in. Another Seku, that prestige one. Jamal Murray. Cam Reddish. RJ Barrett. And we got a pink Brandon Clark. So we got the Brandon Clark pink marquee and then the essentials back to back, basically. That is nice. All right. So hitting the Brandon Clarks. That's for sure. And then the RJ Barrett was not too bad either. I just like these essential cards. I don't know. I bought some hangers a couple years from a few years back, and I did pretty decent on them. So I just like that set. Oop, I'm out of sleeves already. Let's get some more sleeves. Someone's asking what sleeves I use. I just use the Ultra Pro penny sleeves. They're about a buck a piece. I've been using those for forever. Yeah, Zion is overrated, but I'll keep making money off of him as long as I can. But yeah, his prices have gone down a little bit. So, pick him up now before next season. Alright, we got a Jarrett Culver. Luminance, and it's a pink. That's a nice one. Pink Luminance of Jarrett Culver. Hopefully this box is better than the last box. With the damage on the last box. Okay, looks good. Next we have a Kendrick, uh, sorry, Kawhi Leonard, Rookies and Stars. Tough cards. And we got a second Luminance in the same box. Terrence Davis. Nice. I think that's the first Luminance that we've got of Terrence Div uh, Davis. Very nice. Two Luminance cards. See what happened is we got one which was a pink variant which is kind of random, and then we got a second one in the same box, and then a Cam Reddish uh, Essentials card. That was a good pack, guys. Two Luminance cards, one being a pink, and then a Cam Reddish Essentials, and a Kawhi Leonard Rookies and Stars short print card. Unreal, man. Unreal. He's overrated because his prices are way too high. That's why he's overrated. Ooh, we got another optic card, guys. Like, I opened a lot of boxes of these and didn't pull any optic cards, and now we're getting optic cards. James Harden. Looks like it's going to be D'Angelo Russell. Does it say traded on the back? Yeah, it does. So they're just players that got traded. But, I mean, they're still rare. It's rare hits. 
I don't know what kind of value they're going to have. I'll have to look into them. But optic cards. Then we got a Rui. These cards almost always have damage on the back. And then a Brandon Clark. Another Brandon Clark. Yeah, if you look at the back corners on these, this one's actually not too bad. Maybe that corner just has a tiny touch of white, but they're almost always not perfect. Yeah, see what Dr. Kelly said. He's a good player. He's just his pride. He's so overhyped. What hype is is that everyone's talking about him. There's so much publicity. So many people are buying into him that his prices are so inflated that really you're paying so much more money. And there's not as good a risk reward there. You're very high risk and you're not a lot of reward buying into him. There's a pink variant there. And we got a Matisse Seibel. Oh my god, we got a numbered card. Holy crap, guys. I've never pulled a numbered card out of these uh, retail products. I didn't even know it was possible. This is a red variant. And it is numbered out of 149. And it's the Rookies and Stars. Holy crap, man. That is a sick pull right there. Imagine if that would have been a Ja or a Zion. But still, Matisse Seibel... Numbered out of 149. I, I, I didn't think it was possible to get numbered cards out of these because out of all the boxes I've opened, I've not gotten a single numbered card. So I thought it was exclusive only to the hobby boxes. But apparently I was wrong. And uh, that is a sick pull. And right behind it, we got a Tyler Hero Panini card. And then we got a Trey Young. So, man, this, this third box is going pretty good. Yeah, next year... We'll figure out a lot about Zion, too, because he only played, like, 20-something games. Um, Lonzo playing like crap. He was playing good, but, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, he's prone to injuries. Yeah. Exactly. Smart people know. People that are just jumping into the hobby that don't know what the heck they're talking about are the ones that are buying up the rookies and spending all kinds of buku amounts of money. Thinking he's the next LeBron when obviously he's not. And we got a John Morant Essential. Nice. I just sold this card for $57 today. And we got a pink variant as well. And it is a Jackson Hayes. Not too shabby. I like these XR cards. So that is a nice one. XR. The back, which is usually pretty sensitive, is looking pretty good. Jackson Hayes. Especially like that John Morant though, because that's easy, like I said, 50 something dollars. This one doesn't have, it just had a corner that was kind of pushed and you could see it on the back, but this one's looking pretty good, so I might grade that one. John Morant Essentials. So we pulled the Zion and the Ja Essentials out of these boxes. That's crazy. Yeah, he's probably the best rookie, I think. I mean, he's going to win Rookie of the Year, and then, you know, he's just, you can see he's got a lot of potential. It's already scoring a lot of points, and it's a good passer and everything. Uh, Kevin Porter Jr., pink. And we got another Matisse Seibel, Rookies and Stars. That one's not. And a Zion Luminance. Let's go. My first Zion Luminance card, guys. I didn't know if we were going to hit one. I got the, Z uh, the John Morant, which was a $150 card. I don't know what it is now, if the prices have gone down or anything. But I hadn't hit the Zion. This is like $70, $80. Bucks. Sweet Zion Luminance card. Check that out. That is a nice hit. So this box is definitely better than the last box. Almost better than the first box. DeAndre Hunter at the end there. He has a broken thumb. I did not know that. Tyler Harrow. Yeah, I've been I've been sending a lot of Tyler Harrow out to grade. Ooh, this this pack has a good card. Maybe we'll get a flux card out of here. We've only got one so far. Ooh, we got another Prism card, guys. Got another Prism card. I don't know how many different Prism cards or Prism update cards there are in here. But we got a Kyrie Irving. I hit one of the rookies in one box, and I sold it for like 75 bucks. Yeah, a lot of people are saying the centering is better on these than on the regular Prisms. And, and I can see that left to right, top to bottom. It's all good. Stay, uh, Steph Curry and a DeAndre Hunter. So that's actually a really nice one, Kyrie Irving. Um, 
haven't the slightest of clues as to what the value on that would be, but these prism cards are not easy to pull as I've hit only this one, this one, and one other one out of like all the boxes I've opened. Maybe they're a little easier um, in the uh, hobby boxes, I don't know. Don't sleep on Bulbo, <laughs> Travis. That's funny. Yeah, I got a whole stack of Bulbos over here that I was gonna list them up, but I've just been lazy. I got his Prism draft cards, I've got his Hoops cards, his uh, Absolute cards, and I got all of his, um, a bunch of Donruss, because I opened a lot of Donruss. So, I got a bunch of them. And I think I got one Prism that I'm going to send in a PSA. Because I looked and this Prism sold for $400 just for his base. Insane. We got a RJ Barrett Pink Threads. That's a nice one. Centering is actually pretty good on that one. And a DeAndre Hunter Rookies and Stars. This is our last pack, by the way. De uh, Carson Edwards. And a Brandon Clark. I thought it was another John Moran for a second. I was like, what? No, I see Brandon Clark. Nice R.J. Barrett, though. Um, first few years and then get hurt a lot and go downhill. Yeah, who knows. Let's take a recap of what we really got out of here. We did have the one damaged box, which had a few packs that were bad. Really, the only good card, I would say, is that Rui. The pushed corner. I mean, the Jarrett Culver pink is like, all right. The Kawhi was, would have been nice. I don't know what the value on that is, though. 20 people in here, if you guys don't mind leaving a like. Uh, I'll go p pull the John Morant and the Zions out of here. That Matisse was sick. Cam Reddish, Terrence Davis, Jarrett Culver, Pink, R.J. Barrett, Brandon Clark, Pinks, Kendrick Nunn, Pink, Kobe White, Cam Reddish, other Cam Reddish, Giannis, Nicole Melli, LeBron. We didn't get too many LeBrons, so we kind of failed on that department. But... Romeo Langford, John Morant, LeBron, that was the best one there. RJ Barrett, Eric Pashaw. So we got one flux card. Those flux cards are tough. That's why I really like those flux cards. I say buy them up if you can get them. If you want, you know, a solid card to buy into for for a player, I'd buy the. I'd buy that all day. We got the LeBron, Luminance card. I think that's going to be a really good one. And this Matisse, numbered to one forty nine. First numbered card I've pulled out of all the openings. We got three John Morants. Uh, this one's like, like I said, I sold one for 57. I'm not sure on this one. I'm gonna say it's probably around 50. And then that one's pro probably only like 20 bucks. But I mean, that's over $100 in John Morants. And then probably, a, what, 100 and something in Zions. I really like that Luminance though. So we didn't get one per box per. We, we should have got six of them, but we got five. I'm not complaining whatsoever. I think we did pretty darn good. Uh, I'm happy with it. Am I selling Morants? Yeah, I have a few Morants up on my eBay. I think I got like four, maybe like four left or something like that. I got the pink marquee, and I got a couple other ones. I can't remember which ones they are, but yeah, check out my eBay. It's trading cards and more. Um, trying to read all the Nimmo pizzas in here. What's up? Best card in the session, I would say, is probably the... Zion um, Luminance card if, if I had to pick one. I don't know what the Matisse is worth. I mean, it's numbered, but yeah, pretty excited. Um, let me know what you guys thought. I'm going to take off here and uh, we'll be back again tomorrow for another open. Probably going to do some more Topps Chrome Baseball. I uh, picked up some more packs of these. I got like eight more packs of them. We only hit like one um, Lewis Robert the other day out of nine packs, so I wasn't too thrilled on that. Um, so let me know what you thought of the opening. Appreciate you watching. Hopefully you have a good weekend, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Take care.